Alan Wake was an atmospheric shooter released in 2010 by Remedy Entertainment. It was praised for its story, soundtrack, and gameplay. With that said, there is another game in this franchise people don't seem to appreciate enough. A game that takes the gameplay of the original and repackages it into an arcade style adventure, 2012's Alan Wake's American Nightmare. American Nightmare also received some praise during its release, though less than the original. It has a shorter campaign and forces you to replay the same levels three fucking times. <laughs> However, it takes the gameplay of the original and refines it immensely, making the act of shining light and shooting the Taken incredibly satisfying. Speaking of the Taken, there are some new variants to be found in American Nightmare that couldn't be found in the original, like the Birdman who can turn into birds, the Grenadier who can throw grenades, and the Giant who is a fucking giant. The story revolves around Alan, who after the events of the original game and its DLC has to fight his evil doppelganger Mr. Scratch the Edgelord as he attempts to escape the dark place and return to his wife. Along the way he meets characters that lend him a hand and don't worry if they die because the game will loop twice until Adam is able to save them. Yeah, that's a pretty big weakness. Not just the fact the story feels like fan fiction and though the game kind of acknowledges this by basically saying that it's a fan fiction written by Alan. But it gets worse with the fact that you go through the same route multiple times with some variations on enemy encounter and difficulty. You even have to repeat set bases, like when a satellite falls on top of an oil rig. I would have much rather just had them put a bit more content in each of the game's kind of barren maps than making me go through them three times. I mean the original Alan Wake's environments worked because they were very linear and they always basically had a simple direction for you to go. But they felt like there was this huge open forest, despite the fact that it weren't actually that open at all. You felt a sense of oppressiveness through the world. You felt like you were kind of lost, but you were never truly lost because you always knew what direction to go because the game guided you so well. Here you just Hey, go here, get this item, go here, get this item. Just the same thing, multiple times. Man, why do I like this game again? Oh yeah, the gameplay. It's, what's keep this, it's what keeps this title from falling apart. The original Alan Wake had great gameplay, but it was truly elevated by everything that surrounded it. Perhaps it's kind of ironic then that American Nightmare screws up most of what surrounds the gameplay. But, you know, at least it's still good. I mean, all of your weapons feel satisfying to use, and dodging the Tekken's attacks still gives you an awesome feeling of, yeah, I did that, and even rewards you with a slow motion effect that allows you to scan your surroundings for more enemies. But after you finish the story, is there any more fun to be had? Well, let's talk about this game's arcade mode. It's Alan Wake in its purest form taking the gameplay and atmosphere and putting it in an intense game mode where you must survive the night and fend off the Taken with your arsenal of weapons that you unlock by collecting pages through the story mode, like a Magnum or an SMG that only really serves to waste ammo. The arcade levels feel more compact and thought out than the big empty spaces found in the three campaign maps, though they still don't feel as good as the first game's maps. And it's a shame there's only like five of them and five other harder versions of the same map. Though it's a good thing they exist because the originals are pathetically easy to get three stars on, while the hard mode actually provides a real challenge. Though I guess you're not really going at them to get three stars, you're just going at them to be the top of the leaderboard. Alan Wake's American Nightmare has a dumb story with a kind of fun villain, but it takes the gameplay of the original game and gives us more of it. I think it, it's a fine game that was made with the simple intention of keeping the fan base excited for Alan Wake 2. Now if only that game had actually happened, and maybe one day we'll see Alan again. It's not like the devs don't want to give us more of him. They showed interest in doing it, they even had a whole prototype in it. You just couldn't get more funding. I'm sure that when they get more funding they'll be able to make a true Alan Wake sequel in a video game for fuck.